And we've got a scrap that breaks out right off the bat. It's Dalhousen and Harry Young. A couple of heavyweights that square off right in front of the blue line. Young with a short right. That landed, knocked Dalhousen off balance. His helmet went flying, and the two combatants toppled down into the ice. Joel Buschbacher has it there, spins off of Albert, tries to jam one in short side, Conway makes the save standing up and keeps the puck pinned. And now we've got gloves dropping behind the net. It's Walters and Buschbacher. Second fight of the night, Walters and Buschbacher locked up along the Zamboni door. Buschbacher used the collar of Walters' jersey to tackle him to the ice. Not many pen punches were thrown after the gloves dropped. Outer looking to feed one to the near point. Sulek intercepts, sends one along. Bellamy was hit almost knee on knee by O'Keefe. Jackals furious, wanting a penalty call at the bench. And now Petrus, he's going to go with O'Keefe. Our third fight of the first period. Petrus raining down punches on O'Keefe. O'Keefe gets back up from his knees and fires off a right. Petrus takes O'Keefe down amidst a flurry of punches. Meanwhile, Baskerville picks it up on the far wall. Sends it on for Sulak trying to pull his way down the middle. He looked like he was hooked up by Crowley. The play continues on. Out of the far corner with it is Vascovu for Sulak on the cycle. Sulak fights off a check, feeds it to the point for a shot by Albert. Knocked down in front, and they score! Daniel Koger ties it at two. 59 seconds into the second period. He's got one goal already tonight. He's going to try to make something happen here on a long rush. Koger carries from the Jackals end to the end wall in Cincinnati Ice. Koger still with it, not going to be stripped of the puck. Deals it to the point for a shot by Ciccarello that scores! Jordan Ciccarello's first pro goal ties it at three aside. The kill, which is operating at 83% on the season. Cincinnati's power play, not very potent despite having the league's highest goal total. Overall, the Cyclones are just 13.8% on the power play this season. As we got a chance here, maybe for a shorthanded breakaway, Petras with a steal at the point. He's in behind Aris and Petras scores! A shorthanded goal for Jordan Petras. Just 29, 19 seconds into the Rob Bellamy minor. And now it is a six to four. Slams down the wall and gives it to Almer in the corner. Around the rim now to Jacobs. Jacobs fights off the check of Byron Fraze, protects the puck with five seconds to go on the power play. Five-man pile up along the wall. Paul Crowder is able to win that puck for the Cyclones and clear it out to neutral ice. Cincinnati comes back to full strength and is now three for three on the penalty kill tonight. Working deep on the attack. Walter centers one. Jacob shoots and scores! It's good to see him back in the Jackals lineup. He took a shot to the head in the Jackals last home game against Wheeling. As what do we have here? A fight's broken out. Corey Bellamy and David McDonald drop the mitts. Behind the Cincinnati net, somebody still has their stick. As they tangle one another down to the ice. Visit his studio at 211 North Main Street in Horseheads. Call 607-398-2122 or email info at rickbackmansky.com for more information. Off the faceoff, the Jackals have worked a quick rush and scored. They take a 1-0 lead with 11.04 left to go in the first period.